For the longest time, this always has been blue ever since I got it. The valve cover has seen better days, and this thing is just leaking all over the place. I literally just ordered all the seals. They just came in today before I replace all the seals on this thing. I'm gonna paint the whole engine bay white. I went to your local Walmart store and got some white lawn spray paint. And Jarek, why do you not just get it paint at a shop? And honestly, that's a lot of time, that's a lot of labor, and that's a lot of moolah already. I mean, it's an engine at the end of the day, I don't think it's as important as the outside. Right now I'm trying to drain all the coolant from the radiator because the thing is, I want to paint this back firewall right here and I have to drain the coolant because if I take this off, literally all the coolant starts splashing. Like god damn, it looks like it actually got stolen now. I'm about to steal the radiator right now. Anyone that can come by, anyone come by? Shit, they can steal anything, yeah. We go, we're using literally. <laughs> <laughs> Aluminum foil just to mask some of this stuff off. We're just gonna focus on this side So we're gonna start from here Spray it all the way through here I'll probably stop here and then after it kind of dries off a little bit and then we'll finish it off there Got this uh, one more for, <laughs> I think five six bucks for just one can It's not the best if you look very closely. It has little bubbles. You could definitely see them more right here. I think that's because we didn't sand it as good as I thought. From afar, for sure, five foot. As you can see, we actually fix some of the eyeballing or the bubbling that was here. It's definitely better than what it was. <laughs> I finally got the whole bay painted. As you can see, but there is one big problem. This started just wrinkling pretty bad. Um, last night, it didn't literally look like this. It literally looked like this. As I started working on this side last night, as soon as I put on the layer, it just, like I said, it just started wrinkling pretty bad. Um, I don't know if it's just because it didn't have enough time to dry or Maybe I laid it on too thick. I would say it's room temperature about like 70 to 65. So I feel like it's the perfect temp and uh, yeah, I don't know. Another problem we ran last night. Uh, so we try to put this engine mount on. This thread won't go anymore. Bolt right here is bent. So I think I'll worry about the engine mounts later. My dad recommended me this. He does a lot of body work and he said Transstar is pretty good. Obviously not all the wrinkles are gone, but majority of them after I sand it down and spray with this primer, as you can see, most of the wrinkles are gone. We're gonna let this dry. And basically the spots that I hit with gray are the spots basically that are wrinkled. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's okay. Uh, let me show you guys the imperfections. It's kind of dark right now, so you guys can't see, but there is a little bit of wrinkle right here. Other than that, it turned out pretty good for a rattle can job. There is a little wrinkle right here. I don't know if you guys can notice that on camera. There is a little wrinkle there. Definitely wrinkle here. Yep, you could definitely see that on camera. I told you guys earlier, it was super bad here. And uh, I finally fixed the majority of it. Obviously, it's not the best. It is a rattle can job at the end of the day, and the mortar was still in the bay. I did get hella overspray on the brake booster and the lines. I will eventually fix that, but for now, it's just gonna be like that. It was so hard to even spray the back just because there's just so much lines. It's been a couple days later. <coughs> <coughs> Guys, I'm still sick, and I'm still working on this damn car. We put brand new silicone hoses for the coolant. So that goes to the heater core, that is brand new. The one that goes to the radiator. And then back to the block, that's also new. Also fix the leak here. This whole line here was super bad. Look at this. It started cracking and that's what half of the leak was coming from. I still need to fix the leak from the rear main seal and the crepe seal. I'm waiting for the gas to come in. I'm also gonna do a valve adjustment on this. Also, there is no AC anymore. I am still gonna run AC in this. However, I'm still waiting on the part to come in. I'm gonna run a AC tuck kit. So instead of the AC unit being here where these two brackets used to be, it's actually gonna be in the front. And so that would just make it a lot easier to um, run a bigger turbo and just to run a turbo kit in general. But we are also gonna need 
to paint the battery tray and the manifold. I'm gonna paint this manifold uh, wrinkle black. I mean, come on guys, you can't blame me. This looks 10 times better than what the blue was. valve cover. I tried the best I can. There is some spots. While that cover is drying, I think uh, did pretty well on this battery tray. The intake that I got, it's just a cheap, cheap intake anyway, so we're just gonna use it as a prop because if I don't have that intake on, holding it in, it literally just falls on his face. You know, it doesn't look that bad, honestly. I mean, it could be worse. Where it says Honda and VTEC and then the Honda emblem, I will be shaving that just to make it that OEM look. While the valve cover and the manifold are drying, what I'm gonna do is replace the seal behind this. Cam is finally out. This definitely is leaking. It's definitely wet. Old seal's out. Wasn't too bad, but still leaking either way. So it's better off to replace it anyways. Similar, I think it's just a different color. All right, and after tapping this seal for an hour, the new one is finally in. There's a lot that still needs to be done. The crank seal, the rear main seal. Once these dry, I gotta put these on the car and uh, I just can't fit that into one video. 